Today we have a Canva Pro review and a Canva Pro tutorial. So in this Canva Pro review, um, I'm going to talk about my experience upgrading. So I've actually been on the free version for about three or four years, but I finally upgraded to the Pro and I wish I'd upgraded to Pro much earlier because the features are so nice and the graphic library is just massive, like a hundred times bigger now that I've upgraded. So I don't know how I lived on this free version um, for such a long time, but anyway, I'll talk about my experience and I'll give you a demonstration about what I've been doing with the pro version. So some of these features like the resize and the background removal tools, I'm saving so much more time on my um, image editing and my visual production is just the workflow is so much easier now. And also animation and video, which I didn't bother with on the free version. Um, the pro version makes this really, really fun to use, to be honest. And I Towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you some cool ways you can actually use your Canva membership to make some passive income as well. So check that out later in the video. Also, um, if any of this sounds interesting, in the description, I have a 30-day free trial of the pro version. So you can try this out for yourself um, totally for free with that link in the description. But um, anyway, if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Probably the first thing I noticed when I upgraded to Pro was just the massive increase in the library of graphics. So the free version had 1 million free photos and graphics, which was pretty okay, but the Pro version 100 million. Um, and it's not just photos and graphics, now you get video and audio as well. So we'll look at that a bit later, but I'll show you what I mean. All right, for example, if we search for sports car photos, you'll see that most of the cool photos have the Pro logo next to them, which means they're limited to the Pro version. There'll be a few free ones, but um, yeah, nine times out of 10, the picture that you want is gonna be a Pro one. So um, that is probably the most obvious thing you'll notice. Another cool thing you get in the Pro version is the ability to remove a background from an image automatically. So if you go to Edit Image, you can use that background remover, and this makes images much more usable without the background. So this is much more um, clean. You can use this in social media or advertising much more readily. Um, go ahead and replace the background with one of the um, backgrounds they've got in here, for example. So I could just replace it with this one. Um, go ahead, add some text effects, and away you go. I'll give another example with a YouTube thumbnail template here. This is one for like a gaming channel style template. I've gone ahead and replaced it with my own image with the background removed here, change the text. This only takes a few seconds. You can move the elements around, change the um, things pretty easily. But this brings me to my next feature that I really like in the pro version is the resize option here. So this is a YouTube size thumbnail, but let's say we wanted to change this into a uh, Instagram post, a square Instagram post, and maybe a Facebook post as well. So we can copy and resize. This will open two new windows and it'll resize it automatically into the appropriate size. So this has got a Facebook post size and this has got an Instagram size. And all we have to do from here is just um, tweak the... Uh, selections of the elements here and move it around until you're happy with the the layout on the new on the new post and away you go so this really speeds up the workflow when you have to work with multiple um, social media examples so imagine if i had to update my instagram and my facebook and my um, youtube all at the same time i could do it much more quickly using that pro resize function and there we go so you basically get the idea that is our Instagram post. This is our Facebook post. So go ahead and tweak those and then you're ready to go. You can actually go to share and you can actually schedule them onto your uh, social media calendar as well automatically. So that is really cool. The other nice thing I can do here is create an animation. So you just click animate on there and there's automatic uh, uh, settings for animation here. So I quite like this one called um, breathe where it just brings the things on and gradually uh, scales the elements, so that looks really cool. You can go ahead and export that as say a GIF or a, um, a movie as well. So download it as MP4 video or animated GIF for example. Now that I mentioned animation, I should talk about videos as well. So there's loads of video templates. Now these templates actually have multiple scenes in them usually as well. So that makes it really quick to produce short videos. So there's a welcome to a YouTube channel. This one is really cool. So it's got three scenes here, uh, like a little short ad. Again, this is a super easy to edit. You go ahead and click the element. I might just change the text there. So uh, let's make it an idea spot. Um, let's put uh, tech or tutorials here. And on our second scene, it looks like we've just got this, this girl. We could actually add some, some of our own graphics on here so you can upload your own images. So I might uh, put my logo. I could put my logo on here and 
maybe even add some text perhaps. So let's just put something on here. That's cool. Now let's just change this to maybe tech. There we go. Instead of having the girl, we could easily replace that as well. We could have something a little bit more suitable for the background here. So maybe let's just grab this keyboard maybe instead. So let's remove the girl and there we go. And we're gonna move that back. So the logo is there, cool. Again, let's animate this. Let's use that uh, breathe effect on here as well. And on here maybe, there we go. And then what else do we have? I've oh, got our last scene here. Um, to soothe tired minds, uh, learn. And then tech skill. Cool, all right, so let's see what this actually looks like now. That middle section is 16 seconds long. I'll just make that a bit shorter so I can just trim that down by dragging it like that. Let's just make it three seconds. And now we've got a 10 second or so video. Let's just go ahead and watch what we've created in that short time here. So looks pretty nice. We've got a few little animation effects here going on. Um, Idea Spot Tech, pretty cool for not a lot of effort there. Now, besides using the templates in the stock video, you can always upload your own footage, upload your own audio. You can actually record yourself so you can use your webcam and your screen capture as well. So um, I hope there's plenty of light bulbs going off above your head on how powerful this is. This is way, way easier than using um, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I normally produce my stuff on. This is, this is so much easier. All right, now I want to talk about a really obvious way of monetizing your um, Canva membership. So you can go over to etsy.com and you can create printable art. So people basically just upload uh, PDF files in high resolution and people can buy the PDF file. And you can usually make five, 10, $15 just selling digital files. Um, so you, no cost to yourself other than your Canva membership basically. And this is a pretty low effort. So this is just like one graphic that's been duplicated 12 times to make this lemon wall art that they're selling for $4. Um, people are buying it, like 251 sales. So um, pretty low effort. This is like customized name. You could just choose a background image, put your client's name on there, seven or seven or eight dollars, uh, easy money. I'll show you literally how easy this is. So I just went to Canva art print, uh, lots of different art prints to choose from. I just pick one here. So, and then you just got to change it a little bit to make it your own. So uh, let's go ahead and throw some text on here where some nice sort of text, there we go. Um, instead of saying shine, 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 might just change the words there. So it could be, you know, love, life, you know, you get the idea. And there you go. So someone will surely buy that for four or $5 on Etsy. If that's what they're into, you could customize this message to your own client's message if you wanted to as well. So um, very straightforward. Same idea here, just took some line art, changed the background. That sort of matches up with um, these kind of ideas that people are doing on Etsy. Other things you could do is print your design onto uh, merchandise like clothing, stickers, um, mugs, those kind of things. Printful is a good one to use. You can actually connect that to a WordPress site or lots of other kinds of websites. Uh, the other one is Printify is pretty similar as well where you can put your design straight onto merchandise. So um, easy way to monetize websites with merchandise uh, using the, the designs that you can create very easily using your Canva membership. And there's also some pretty big uh, websites that will give you free traffic like redbubble.com if you can make some nice designs, put them on your merch and uh, people just buy them from these websites. Redbubble is the obvious one. Threadless.com is another good one where you can put your designs and these guys will just print it out. They'll give you a share of the, um, the revenue and um, they do all the printing and the shipping. So um, super hands-free way of selling physical merch. Uh, T Public, that's another one where it's exactly the same idea. You upload your images onto your um, merch. So this is really where that um, background removal tool really pays off because you need to remove your background if you're going to be printing onto physical products. The other thing I love about my pro membership is the mock-up design. So uh, loads of ways to put your design onto a physical product, uh, especially things like uh, laptops, tablets. This is really cool for doing web design where you want to present your work in a lifestyle setting. It makes it look really cool. The other thing you can do is put it onto clothing. So like what I was saying with um, print on demand products where you can put it onto a t-shirt or a swimsuit. The swimsuit girl is pretty cool. I just put my ID Spot logo on there like that. I thought that's pretty fun. 
But I got to say, on the pro version, this is way more usable because all the cool um, mock-ups are usually pro version, and then the like, the free ones are always really basic. So um, much more enjoyable using the pro version of these smart mock-ups. So in terms of pricing, I think thirteen a month is pretty fair for the pro version. I think any business with an online presence who uh, has to create content is probably going to get a lot of value out of the pro membership. I think if you don't have an online business or you're just a hobbyist and you don't have any online revenue, um, the free version is fine. Like I said, I used the free version for maybe three or four years and combining the free version of Canva with other free things like free pick, um, unsplash, pexels, those kind of things, you can kind of mesh it together and get away with the free version for a pretty long time like I did. But now that I've got the pro version, I don't look back at that time as being particularly pleasant. I think this probably should have done this a lot earlier getting this pro version. So I'm much, much more product productive using this pro version than I am using the Adobe suite, using any Microsoft products. This really kills those kind of things in terms of visual productivity. Um, I'm crushing it using Canva Pro compared to anything I've done in the past. So like I said earlier, if you want to try it out, I've got a 30-day trial in the description. If you want to click that link in the description, you can try it for 30 days for free. So um, just check it out, see if it works for you. If not, just stick to the free version, but uh, the pro version, I'm really enjoying it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.